So I used to think people that woke up at 5 a.m. were insane. Until I became one of them. I wanted to show you guys my morning routine and show you what I've been up to lately. So enjoy this little chaotic vlog of me waking up way too early and being way too pissed off throughout the day and trying to get shit done. Enjoy. Every time I surf, I put on a shit ton of sunscreen. Dude, Leo is not even sunny. <laughs> if you're wondering what sunscreen I use, I use the EIR Surf Mud Pro. Hey. <laughs> How long have you been surfing for? I know, we act like we're pro surfers. <laughs> Okay, so two fun facts you'll never believe. One, I surf every morning at sunrise. It's my favorite way to work out. And two, I surprisingly don't have any footage of me actually surfing. So before you comment below that I don't actually surf, I do. Vlog. <laughs> Oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today, Abby? Do you wanna? Yeah, so we're doing a book club of how you currently spend your time. It's hard to reflect on whether you're acting in. Taking a quick little morning break. Uh, I just finished my meetings uh, this morning and now I'm gonna probably go into some work. I always journal a little bit about what I wanna do every single day before I start my day and this allows me to be more productive. I've been recently reading a book that basically says productivity is not doing a lot of shit. It's doing the right shit in a short amount of time so the rest of the day you can actually enjoy your life. And I never realized that was allowed. I would always like beat myself up if I didn't grind out my eyes and never stop working. Um, so I'm happy to like finally get into a better mental state to like actually be nice to myself because I can be a bitch to myself <laughs> and it's not, it's not cool. So in this clip, you can see me working on a client project. Most of my business is making videos for brands. So I have to preview and approve videos before we send it off to the brands. So here's me giving feedback. Hey, Julia, this is actually such a great start. Like not even start. This is like 90% done. Uh, I have a few feedback to make it even better. This project is actually going live on one of the YouTube channels I manage called The Green Room. Um, it should be live pretty soon. But this is also me taking a quick dance break before I do another work block. So I just finished a rough draft of a pitch I'm doing this Friday. I'm pitching a company for a YouTube brand partnership. It's gonna be like this whole campaign with personal finance and this company and it sounds super big and pretentious, I know, but I'm really excited for it because um, I'm friends with the founder, which I don't think I've ever done before, which is kind of awkward. Like working with friends is extremely difficult. So we'll see how it goes. I'm genuinely nervous because me and him never have done a business context. We've only like have friendship context. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, I didn't win that meeting. Uh, I actually lost it uh, and now I'm scrambling for my next project. Um, it's currently noon and I feel like I'm gonna finish up one more thing at work. I have to create a project management system for other clients' projects. My back hurts really bad. Now it's around 5 p.m. I've been on Zoom calls all day and uh, now it's time to break my sanity by doing something normal. I am re-downloading Instagram because it's noon and I am gonna go back onto a smaller screen after being on a bigger screen for like four hours. So obviously I have balance, right? Currently I am driving three hours to go to LA. Um, I've been really frustrated this week at work. Nothing is going my way. And I hate to complain because I don't want to be another influencer who complains about her job. So if you can promise me you won't judge, I will vent. To give you some context, my company produces videos for brands and we we pay we charge people a flat rate. So if it takes longer or if I have to pay someone else to redo it, which we're having to do, they don't care. Like I'm apparently losing money at this point. Um, oh. Let's try this again. Um, nothing's going my way and I've been working nonstop. I am doing whatever it takes to deliver these videos on time for our clients. It's just two main clients right now, but they paid pretty big retainers. And uh, I just I just want to do a good job. It's really hard not to take it personally. Um, so 
I thought that I would be a good idea not to freak out and just quit and just take a little break. So I thought it'd be a good idea to hang out with some friends and I don't know, get my mind off shit and just be a human and understand that my work doesn't equal my self-worth. Um, so I'm in LA and I hope that I just feel better because on top of it, the guy that I like made like a million dollars last week and I just, it just made me feel like shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> How was your guys' party together? We oh. watched people get married. We actually? so cute. We talked yeah. about soulmates. Do you believe in soulmates? I do. You do? Yeah, I haven't found one yet, but I'm, I try to believe. So you think that there's one person like made for you? Mm, I'm a homeless romantic, so yes, ideally, but I'm also kind of a realist. Also, my crush today oh. insulted me. You know my crush. No, not Charlie. Okay, yeah. I hate when people do that. Oh, sorry. No, no, I hate when I hate when people like start dancing and stuff, and I'm trying to oh. like, get casual shots. So you, you mean like? You so, mean like, oh, oh. so you mean like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Wait, what are you guys trying to get a regular shot? <laughs> I know it's so annoying. Wait, hold on. What, what is this? <laughs> it's so annoying. Or chocolate chip ice cream, right? You are vanilla ice cream. You come to me and you're like, hey, I like you, Miles. And I'm like, hey, I actually like chocolate ice cream okay. and not chocolate chip. That doesn't take away from the fact that you're an amazing chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> it's just my preference of chocolate right. is obscuring me from understanding the beauty mm -hmm. that's in chocolate chip, feel me? So although I might walk away, somebody's gonna come who's loved chocolate chip their entire life and be like, oh my God, I have waited my entire life for someone who's exactly like you. But if you were looking at this guy over here who liked chocolate, you'd be thinking you're less than, but so you're not. what do you do when you like a guy, or all the guys that you like don't like you because they only like chocolate chips? Like, do you just change your preference then? I would maybe consider, like, what part of the ice cream shop I'm in. Because if I'm in oh. the side where people oh. only come for chocolate chip, Whoa. then I may be in the wrong area. Okay. This is a big planet, bro. <laughs> this is like, a camera. <laughs> I don't think we think about that enough. Like, you're on a planet right now. It's kind of a small world at the same time, though. In our minds. And you're right, but, like, bro. Like... There is still so much to explore. So, there's so much to do with, bro. Like, there's so much to do. I feel like we're stuck in our bubble. I feel like this is good. We need to pop it. How do we pop it? How do you pop this bubble? I feel like the only way to pop a bubble well, a, if a bubble is just a perspective, you just have to get a little higher to see a bigger picture. Your experience outside of your norm. Experience outside your norm. Get outside your comfort zone. So yeah, that was my video for this week. I know it's not a normal upload, but I just wanted to show you what I've been up to this week. I love you guys so, so much. See you guys later and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode very soon.